Breast augmentation is placement of an implant in the chest to make the breast larger, fuller, and in some cases, lift it. The most common question that patients will ask me is, how will you put the implant into my chest? Where is the incision going to be? Uh, of all the incisions that I know of, I prefer the armpit incision because it is very well hidden. Patients appreciate that there is no scar on the breast itself, so that when they're not wearing clothes, the scar is not visible. All the incisions on the breast can create a very visible scar, which women want to avoid. Placement of the implant through the armpit is done using what we call an endoscopic technique. In this kind of technique, a special camera and special tools are used to visualize everything within the chest, although the incision is way up in the armpit. This allows me to do the surgery just as safely as anyone could with an incision on the breast, with the advantage of having a very hidden scar in the armpit. The other advantages of going through the armpit are that the breast is not damaged by cutting through it. All the incisions on the breast cut through the breast, damaging the breast, possibly affecting future breastfeeding and sensation to the nipple and the areola. Patients will often ask me, what sort of implant should I use? Patients will have the choice between a saline or a silicone implant, although we do feel that the silicone implant is superior in most instances. Breast augmentation is a short procedure lasting about 30 or 40 minutes of actual operating time. Generally, recovery from breast augmentation takes about a week. Often patients can return to work sooner than that, but we usually tell patients a week off of work should be sufficient.